cats, uh, they don't always get on. Sometimes they kind of chase each other, looks a little bit aggressive. So what I do to kind of break that up, to kind of distract them, is we use a laser pen, you will have seen these. So the cats will be chasing each other around, then one or both of them will become transfixed by a little red dot that has appeared on the ceiling or the walls or the floor. And it's so effective that we've started using it in our own relationship. <laughs> so I'll be saying something like, all I want you to do when you finish with your wet towels is put them in the... Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but whenever you introduce a new cat into a household that already has a cat, there's always a bit of aggro while they work out the hierarchy, then it settles down. The day I knew our two were going to be OK with each other was the day that I walked into our bedroom and they were lying on the bed like that. They weren't quite spooning, but it was good enough for me. I tell you, I'm behind them, big mama spoon's getting on. <laughs> I'll be the ladle. I don't know what that means. <laughs> After about two minutes, it was utter perfection. And then Brody leaned over to Ripley, the little girl cat, and just started licking her asshole. <laughs> I don't think mama spoon's supposed to be here for this, but she was brilliant. Though. She was lying with her legs shut like that. As soon as he started licking her asshole, she went, ah, that's lovely. <laughs> Just the cat, so we've got a, a dog as well. We got a dog about a year and a half ago. He's a rescue dog and he is genuinely the light of my life. He really is. He's absolutely adorable. We, um, we had some uh, problems with him in the beginning, I suppose. Um, we, well, he didn't know how to play, which is quite sad. He didn't know how to play. Uh, so what we do is we try and throw a ball at him. He didn't really understand it. He'd been in kennels for a year, so I suppose it's understandable. And all sorts of toys we got, didn't, didn't get any of it. And then one day, my husband was getting ready for bed, and as he pulled off one of his socks, the dog jumped up and grabbed it, and they had a little game. It was so nice to see the dog play. And on further investigation, we've discovered that the dog doesn't like clean socks. He only likes the ones my husband refers to as meaty. <laughs> he also doesn't like my socks, which I suppose is a compliment, because I guess it means they're not very meaty. But I'm still quite hurt by that. But I'm nothing if not competitive in love. And I thought, what could I throw at him that would be worse than socks? <laughs> oh, some of you are quite quick there. <laughs> I did exactly what you think I did. I throw my pants at him and he fucking loves it. <laughs> <laughs>